Hey everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I'm going to talk to you about a grandparenting activity. I had mentioned this earlier in one of the earlier episodes, but I want to enlarge and tell you a little bit more. I've, done, I've been doing a series of DIY how-to videos. I've done one on salads and fingernail polish and, and soaps and potpourri and scrubs and all of those different types of things. You know what, parents are so busy that um, if you live nearby your grandkids, by all means, take the opportunity, bring them over to your house, have some fun, fun type of an activity where you can plan, prepare, and execute some kind of a, a learning activity that you can do with your grandkids that they will love doing. Now, some of these DIY and how-to activities that I've posted, they're mainly geared to tween, tweens and teen girls. Although, one thing you could, should keep in mind that if you have grandsons, they may be interested in some of this because in 2002, uh, the men's grooming movement was launched and men started becoming more interested in different types of grooming things. So certainly your grandsons, if they break out and have different breakouts, they would be interested in the scrub one and the soap one and some of the, some of the others that um, I will be posting over the next few weeks. It will just be interesting and fun for your grandkids and there's a number of different things that you can teach them at the same time. Certainly you can teach them about math because there's uh, measuring and how to do, you know, they'll uh, learn and understand fractions. Any time where you can take a math concept and put a practical application to it, kids remember that. They learn it better. Also, there's experimentation going on because I give you the recipes on how to make a lot of these things, but then I give you different options and substitutions so that you can experiment with it. Now, sometimes experimenting will produce a disastrous results, result, but you know as well as I do that we learn from our mistakes, not our successes. There's a whole section on teaching tips for parents. You can teach your, your grandkids and take the time to teach them about sequencing, about processing. Also take some time to ask them what if questions. Like on the scrub, what if we used one of these scrubs and it made our skin 10 times young, 10 years younger? Or what if we used one of these scrubs and it gave us superhuman powers? Um, ask different kinds of what, is, what if type questions because that will stimulate their imagination and their creativity and their curiosity. Now, I also give you different places where you can purchase things. Um, I purchased at all of these places. You can choose uh, different places that you want to try out their different ingredients. Now, with the soaps, that's an interesting one because many of you know about melt and pour soap. And it's a clear soap. It's a glycerin soap. And it's perfect for those glycerin soaps that you may want to make with your grandkids or children or teens or tweens or whoever it is. But you can actually turn that glycerin melt and pour soap into a, an opaque soap by just using titanium dioxide, which is a very, very simple chemical that you can buy in most of these places where I tell you to go to, and it's very inexpensive. Um, and you can mix it with goat's milk. I usually mix a titanium dioxide with goat's milk, and then I put it into the uh, melt and pour soap and immediately becomes this beautiful opaque white soap and it's now a goat's milk soap because you've also added goat's milk to it. So use each of these recipes to experiment with, to use their math skills, and then you can also create them as gifts for holiday time, for birthday time, for any time throughout the year. Also, I talk about each of the ingredients and because I'm very particular about, and I've developed all of these and I'm particular about the ingredients that I use, they have to have a multi-purpose. Like how do these various ingredients, how are they going to help the skin? Now, I'm particularly interested in this because I taught physiology for 10, 10 years in college, particularly skin physiology. So I know a lot about skin. So all of these different ingredients that I'm suggesting that you put into the soaps and the scrubs and and all of the different things, they have a particular purpose and reason being there because they help and strengthen the skin, they clean the pores, they prevent wrinkles, they do all different kinds of things. So teach your children about that as you're making it. Make it a multi-learning, multi-creative experience. Let me share with you one of my very favorite books. This is called The Vanities, and I actually got this at a, a museum bookstore. When you go to a museum, make sure that you always go to their bookstores because sometimes you will see books that you don't see in there. 
in other places. But this particular one is a like Cinderella. Okay, so there's this girl and she's got two wicked step stepsisters. And this girl is great with hair and she does amazing things with hair. And they're having this big thing because somebody's going to be taking over the kingdom. And so they're all supposed to dress up in their finest and their hair, hair their clothes and everything. And so this girl is making for her wicked stepsisters, she's making all these amazing hairdos for them. But she decides that she's going to enter the contest too. Now she's got long, dark, beautiful black hair that's the envy of her stepsisters and many people in the village. But this is what she comes as to um, compete. She's completely bald. And this is what she says. The crown represents you, the majority, when properly donned, that's the priority. If balanced on top, an enormous hairdo, the crown is obstructed. The message is too. The hairdo, though certainly worthy of praise, has slowly grown bigger, diverting our gaze. In other words, it's being diverted from what's really important in the village. How did these do's become so political and take the place of issues more critical? A leader must vow to serve humanity and not to be distracted by useless vanities. And it goes on. I mean, the message is so powerful and so important. Yes, we need to put and we need to prioritize those vain, vain things in our lives. And this is the perfect book. Again, it's written in kind of a sing-song form. Your kids will love it. Your teens and tweens will love it. The illustrations are magnificent. I want to leave with you a quote. And this is unknown. This is from about grandparents. Grandparents make the world a little softer, a little kinder, and a little warmer. Grandparents, get your grandkids, get your teens and tween grandkids, bring them over to your house, give those parents a day off, and make all these different kinds of things that your granddaughters um, and even maybe your grandsons will love to do and to put together. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.